The Quick Fuel Technology QFI electronic fuel injection system is one of the industry's most advanced and flexible EFI packages available. Better drivability, increased fuel economy, easy installation with detailed instructions, superior reliability, user-friendly tuning options, and smoother performance make this a winning conversion for any previously carbureted vehicle. Today we're going to walk through a step-by-step -step inside look at this highly advanced Quick Fuel Technology QFI electronic fuel injection system. The QFI system we're going to install today allows you to put it on any engine from 250 to 525 horsepower. The Quick Fuel QFI system comes complete and includes all the sensors, wiring, throttle body and instructions, basically everything you'll need to get the system up and running. We're taking this 1972 Barracuda, removing the old carburetor and putting on the new QFT QFI system. The system incorporates a host of key features, from the handheld controller for easy setup and tunability, to the DVD for a more finer laptop tune. The throttle body itself features annually discharge boosters and a special patented idle transition slot for better fuel atomization and distribution. The system is self-learning and comes in a black diamond and polished finish while providing features for nitrous and power adders. QFT offers two system options, the QFT 500 base kit, which includes this throttle body, wideband O2 sensor with installation bum, fuel inlet kit, ECU and wiring harness, QFT handheld controller, DVD software and data cable, as well as the hardware and installation manual. The master kit includes everything in the base kit, as well as the pressure regulator and gauge, EFI pump and filter, and hose and required fittings. The first thing you want to do when prepping a car for an EFI install is disconnect the battery. Mark your vacuum hoses and remove the hose. Next, we'll remove the throttle linkage. Remove the fuel line to the inlet of the carburetor. Remove the bolts holding down the carburetor. And remove the carburetor from the intake manifold. Now's a good time to remove the old gasket. Make sure the surface is clean and replace it with the new one in the kit. Next, we're gonna install the throttle body with the pre-installed wiring harness and fuel inlet kit. Uh, the big, the large back port is for the PCV valve that we mocked earlier. We're gonna install that and then drop the throttle body on the studs. Reinstall the mounting hardware. The throttle linkage is identical to the original, so your cable will bolt up just fine. Install the throttle cable, return spring, and tighten everything down. When we're done mounting the throttle body, the next move is gonna be swapping out the carbureted regulator, which is low pressure, for this high pressure EFI regulator that comes in the master kit. The computer requires a signal from the temperature sensor, so we removed this pipe plug that was in the port, replaced it with the sensor in the kit, tightened it, and connect it to the main harness. The kit requires that we run a vacuum line from the throttle body into the ECU. We're gonna mount the ECU inside the car on this installation. It can be mounted on the firewall, but we decided on a nice place under the dashboard. Uh, we ran this vacuum hose from the firewall, and we're gonna hook it up to the throttle body on this lower port. The CUDA we're working on here doesn't have a vacuum advanced distributor, but if it did, we'd like you to run new vacuum lines, mark them, and make sure you replace them in the same locations they were previously. Key to a self-learning EFI system like the QFI is a wideband O2 sensor. We're going to need to drill a hole in the exhaust system and install an O2 bung. The one we supply in the kit is a special designed stainless steel bung that could either be welded to the exhaust with a MIG or TIG welder, or it could be clamped on using the gasket provided in the kit and the worm gear clamps provided. Then install the wideband O2 into the O2 bung. Now that we've finished the throttle body installation, installed the regulator, installed the sensors, we're going to move to the back and start on the fuel system. A vented tank is a must, and lucky for us, ours is an aftermarket tank, which means it already has a vent pre-installed. The fuel system is a crucial component of any EFI installation, and Quick Fuel makes it easy with the addition of their master fuel kit. It contains the components necessary, a fuel pump, fuel lines, hoses, and fittings to complete your installation. For a stock tank, refer to the QFT instruction manuals on how to install a vent. 
A return line is necessary to bypass fuel from the regulator mounted in the engine compartment to the fuel tank. Ours is mounted right up here at the top. Next, we'll install the fuel pump and filter supplied in the master kit. We're going to install ours on the frame rail just in front of the rear axle, low where gravity could feed the inlet. We've made a small bracket and mounted it to the frame of our car. We then install the positive from the computer to the positive on the post and a ground strap from the frame to the negative on the fuel pump. We then install our inline filter and attach it to the chassis, making sure that the arrow flows the direction of fuel flow. We're gonna finish this installation by re hooking the return line from the regulator back to the tank, the pressure from the EFI pump to the side of the regulator, and from the throttle body here on the fuel inlet, to the regulator. We installed the fuel pressure gauge right up here at the regulator and we could adjust the pressure and monitor at the same time. With the fuel system buttoned up, we're ready to move on to the wiring harness. We're going to install the ECU inside the car on this build and we're going to install the main harness inside as well, passing the ECU main connector, connecting to the sub harness on the throttle body, which is pre-installed, making it an easy installation. The harness contains 11 color-coded wires and the instructions make it easy to follow through different ignition system setups. With the computer mounted to the firewall and the harness installed, we move on to installing our fuse 12 volt to the positive battery post, our yellow wire to the fuel pump positive, and our pink keyed switch to the keyed post on the ignition. Be sure the key switch is positive during cranking and when the ignition is on. The QFI system offers four different ignition timing control options. HEI and ready to run non-computer controlled timing, or for computer controlled timing, you could run it with or without a CDI box. On our engine, we're using a non-computer controlled HEI big cap distributor. A few final touches and we'll be ready to start programming. This is a very important step to connect the positive on the battery first, then connect the ground to the battery. At this point, you can turn the key to the on position, check the fuel pump for proper operation, and check for fuel leaks. Do not start the engine at this time. First, we must program the ECU. Now we're ready to plug in the handheld controller to the main harness. The wires are labeled. They can only go in one way, so it makes installation a snap. The QFI controller allows you to enter the parameters necessary for the ECU to properly run the vehicle. To set up the controller, go to the initial setup, Number of cylinders, eight, it's preset from the controller. Number of injectors are four. The injector size of the system are 66 pound injectors. There is base information listed in the provided instructions, but you'll need to know your engine specs, including the cubic inches, cam type, distributed type, etc. This will allow you to set up the engine timing along with some advanced settings such as fan control, fuel pump parameters, cranking fuel settings, and more. A few final adjustments are needed. Idle until the coolant temp reaches 150 degrees and adjust the fuel pressure to 45 PSI. When the temp reaches 180 degrees, adjust the idle to between 900 and 1000 RPM. Also adjust the primary and secondary shafts. They should move identically. Tighten it down. And let's take it for a spin. It's important to make sure you check all the fittings for leaks. And we're all good here, so we're ready to go. With the adaptive learning technology, we instantly notice the car is running much smoother. This really helps when it comes time to fill up at the pump. With better drivability and power, increased fuel efficiency is just one of the many advantages this system has to offer. As we mentioned earlier, 95% of your tuning is done through the handheld controller. Well, this works good in most cases. You could use a DVD installed laptop program for a more finer, hands-on approach. Easy to install, better drivability, increased fuel economy, and smoother performance. We call that a win-win. For more information, be sure to check out Quick Fuel Technology's QFI fuel injection system at quickfueltechnology.com.